Hi everyone, welcome back. In the previous video, we talked about the base address registers, right? The bar registers which allow for an MMIO range to be allocated. Okay. Now, today we are going to just look at the config space. I have the read write utility running on my laptop here, and I like to go ahead and show how the bar registers and the apertures behave. Okay. Um, I'm going to take some device. I'm going to take the network device so that I don't mind messing it up. I'm not using my network right now. So I'm going to look at the bar register for the network device. Okay. Here I have the bar register. If you look at the type 0 configuration header, which we saw in the previous video, you'll see that at offset 10, we have the bar register here. And we also saw that the way you find out the size requested by the device is to go and write all Fs and then read the value back and find the number of trailing zeros which will give you the size requested. The BIOS or the OS has already configured it. It has assigned it a base address of this one. So I'm going to go ahead and capture this here so that once I mess it up, I can come back and program it back. Okay. So what I'm going to do here is go and write all Fs and read it back. Again, if you look at the previous video, and um, maybe you can bring it up here. So if you look at the uh, bar register format, right, some of these bits are reserved, right? So you can just ignore these bits. Uh, even if the bit is getting set, like for example, bit 3 is set here, showing that it is a prefetchable range. You can assume them to be zero for calculating the size. Okay, here we go. All Fs. Okay, I'm going to write all Fs. Okay, and I'm going to read it back. It says the value as this. So what does it mean? It means that the last 13 bits are zero. Right? So I'm going to put back the value that we read originally from the bar register back into that bar register. Okay, restore that value back. So this one is what we get back once we write all Fs and read it back. So th this means that the lower 13 bits are zero. Okay. So now 2 power 13 is going to be 8 kilobytes. So this one is requesting 8 kilobytes of MMIO space. Now let's see what happens to the bridge that this device is connected to, right? So basically what we have here, we're going to have a right, root complex. We're going to have a root port, okay? And under the root port, we're going to have a device in here, right? So this device is basically sitting on, it says it's bus 2, and it is requesting 8 kilobyte of MMIO space, okay? And it has been assigned this value up here. Let's look at what happens at the root port level. Okay, at it at the root port, what's getting programmed for the aperture? So if I go and look at which bridge is going to which root port is going to spawn bus two because this device is sitting on bus two here. So I'm going to find out um, there are like three, three bridge devices. I'm going to open one by one and see which one has bus two. So if you look at the header for the bridge device, which is a type one header I'm showing here, uh, we have the primary, secondary, and subordinate bus numbers. They are zero, zero, one, and zero, one respectively, which means this bridge is spawning bus one, not bus two. So let's go to the next one here. There you go. So here we have the primary is zero, secondary is zero, two, and subordinate is zero, two, right, which means this root port is what we are interested in. Now let's see what the aperture has been programmed to. Right? In the last video we talked about the up aperture basically meaning the window of MMIO space that the root port has to claim and pass it down. So here the root port is programmed with the value of D050. D050. So if you look at the memory base here and the memory limit here. 
Okay. These are the non-prefetchable memory base and memory limit. There's also a separate one called prefetchable memory base and memory limit. Again, we'll talk about these things later on. But the memory base and memory limit opens up a window right, in the root port and any transaction that comes in which falls between these two will be claimed by the root port and passed down to the device behind the root port. Okay. So we know that the device base address is this. Now we need to go and program that value in the root port so that we open up that aperture for the root port level. So what we have here is D0, 50 as the base and D0, 50 as the limit. Now that's a little confusing, right? How do you have the base and the limit as the same? Well, that's a little nuance to this. So let me go and bring up the PCI's bridge spec in here. Now, if you look at what it says, the memory base and memory limit are 32-bit registers. Okay. Now, the upper 12 bits okay, are the ones that we need to program. And the bridge assumes the rest of the 20 bits, the lower 20 bits. In the case of the base address, it is going to assume that the lower 20 bits are zeros. Okay. And the limit register, it is going to assume the lower 20 bits are all ones. So now let's go back with this understanding and see what happens for the base and limit registers. I'm going to expand this here a little bit so we can get more space to write things down. So here we have the upper 12 bits, D05. So I'm going to have D05, the upper 12 bits. Okay. And the rest of the bits are assumed to be zeros okay, by the decoder. We only program this upper 12 bits. And then we also program D05 in the limit register. This is the base. And this is the limit. And the bridge assumes the rest of the bit to be Fs. Okay. So which means the minimum size of the aperture for the memory base and limit has to be one megabyte. It doesn't matter whether the device behind this root port is claiming only four kilobytes or eight kilobytes in our case. The minimum that we can program, the base and limit, is one, one megabyte here. Because the assume the lower 20 bits and 2 per 20 is one megabyte, we also see in the spec that the bottom four bits of the registers are read only and return zeros when read. So if you go back here, the register itself is 16 bits, right? This is 16 bits. This is 16 bits, right? But we program only the first 12 bits and this bits right? These bits are zeros. The register. The assumption by the decoder is that from the base, these are all zeros. And for the limit, these are all Fs. So when you program the base and the limit, we're going to program D05 and the zero because the lower four bits of the register is always hardwired to zero. And we're going to program the limits also D05, zero. That's why you see D050 and D050 here. Okay. Now, if you look at what it's being said as a memory range, it says D050 to D05, the lower 20 bits are F. So this is the range that this particular bridge will claim and pass it down to the device behind it. Right. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.